Um, well, I just got back from Madeira, back in Lisbon now. Madeira was very fun. I forgot to record for two days, which is a bit stupid of me. To be fair, I was working like a lot less than usual. It was really nice just as a change of scenery in general, but I uh, know I'm, I'm like, I'm excited to get back to work. I actually think it was a, a good choice. It was the kind of, it was the kind of time distracted that wasn't like, it didn't derail me. It's, it's made me excited to get back to things. I'm excited to jump back on onto work. I am a little bit, I am quite tired today specifically just because I, I didn't sleep much last night because my flight was, um, I had to get up and out for early for, for, to get to check out in time, whatever. Point being, it's it's um, it's like twelve now, and I'm gonna go to sleep because I need need some sleep. But I have a lot of things on my mind, namely catching up on some dev work. So I have to do some programming, catching up on some offer work. I want to like work on new offer stuff, catching up on some old stuff like. This thing that I wanted to try, that I wanted to get my assistant to start doing after recording, set some things up for her, um, and also just some reflections on these these little recordings. I think it would be interesting and fun to talk about to to reflect on specific things. So, f you know, for example, like what, um, why I think. Like why, what, what I, just why I think software development agencies are or are not good um, ideas or things like this. I think I think a leading question for these little videos might be useful, just because it then gives it it gives me more structure and direction when I record things in a way that I can give a little update, and that'll be interesting to look back on. But also, I think one of the most valuable things in doing these reflections is or like one of the just the most interesting things that I don't know how much value per se this this may immediately bring or maybe maybe you know down the line it brings more but like I think it's nice to be able to understand how I was actually thinking about certain things and like how I was rationalizing through certain I, how I was understanding and framing certain problems or certain opinions right so I believe X for ABC reasons. And if I just give a little update and I'm like, oh, today I'm working, I'm going to the gym, things like that, what ends up happening is basically every day I, I record myself saying the same, the same shit. Because honestly, a lot of my days look like, I mean, you know, I have fun, but sometimes like I'm not going to go into depth in the exact day to day of what I'm doing. Um, oftentimes as well, because I can't discuss super explicit details. And that that's not the most, you know, I think I think the reflection is the part that's interesting is re remembering certain projects and being like oh yeah I remember when I was doing this doing that but also being able to look at like oh when I was 16 this is how I thought about development this is how I thought about business development this is how I thought about lead generation things like that I think is really interesting and so this is kind of a, a meta reflection on like a reflection on reflections if you will um, about how to make my reflections more valuable. And I think adding little leading questions, you know, for, at least for most days, if, if, you know, it doesn't have to be every day. I think sustainability is the name of the game. I'm so glad I, like, doing these has been a great decision because it just, it's a little thing that doesn't cost me much and I actually enjoy doing and enjoy thinking through things. Um, and I think just a little guiding questions, like something, it's a small thing that could probably take me a relatively long way. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add that. Record with question. Oh, I can't spell. Um, but that's it for the time being. I'm gonna add this recording into my little, my little folder and uh, call it a day.